would testify to bring glory to their king. How I love to hear the stories, how the Lord brought victory. But how happy I'll be when eternally I'll hear the untold stories. Untold stories of it.
this morning. Thank God that we can look to Him. Amen. He is alive. Praise the Lord. Turn to your Bibles to the book of Romans. Amen. The book of Romans, chapter 8. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not His own Son, but delivered Him up for us all, how shall we, He not with Him also freely give us all things? I want to read that again. He that spared not His own Son, but delivered Him up for us all, how shall He not with Him also freely give us all things? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifieth. Who is He that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Lord, we are thankful for Your presence. We're thankful, most of all, for Your Word. Lord, this is the time that we receive of your word, hallelujah. Lord, we know, God, that you are here in our midst, Lord. Lord, you strengthen, Lord. You lift us up. You sustain us and you give us the victory, Lord. And we know, God, that if we have you on our side, nothing can stand against us, Lord. We have the victory through Christ Jesus, our Lord. And Lord, we thank God of all that you have done. Lord, let our minds be on all that you have done. And Lord, we thank you, God, that even now you make intercession for us, Lord. You make intercession for your church. And Lord God, we look to you today that your spirit and that your power will come down, Lord, in great might and great glory, Lord. And your spirit, Lord, fill us, Lord, and draw us, Lord, ever close to you. Use me, I pray, nothing that I say or do in myself. But Lord, I know, God, that it's the power of God, the Spirit of the living God that rests upon me. And I ask for that anointing that breaks every yoke. It breaks every yoke. And Lord God, it will go down into our heart and into our life. And we will be transformed by the renewing of our minds. Lord, I give you thanks. I give you praise. And I ask it in Jesus' name. And everyone said... Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We can never really grasp God's love for us today. The wonderful love of God. Hallelujah. The love of God if you have received of His love. What a wonderful uh, testimony that you can share of the power of God and His love that has come down in our lives because God loves us. And we all know the famous Scripture, Hallelujah, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever should believe it in Him should not perish but have eternal life. Hallelujah. I want you to know God is in the saving business today. God is on your side. And as Paul declared it here in the book of Romans, he said in the Scriptures, what shall we say then? If God be for us, who can be against us? And it seems like in this world, we've got plenty that are against us. Amen. We've got a world and it seems like everything is coming on strong. And we've got all these things coming against us. But I want you to know, if you have God, you don't have nothing to fear. But you've got to put your trust in His power and His might. Because I want you to know, He's got everything under control. Amen. Even in situations where, you know, our faith is on, you know, it's teeter-totter and back and forth, you know. 
A lot of times our faith can be shaken. It can be turned upside down. But that's one thing in those times we have to know the God that we serve. We have to put our trust in Him and know that God is on our side. God is with us and He's pushing us along the way and He's encouraging us through His Word. I want you to know you better get out this old book and you better start reading it because it's the only thing that is going to see you through this old dark world. Reach out and receive from the Lord. I thank God for His mercies. His mercies, they are new every morning. And His compassion, they fail not. Right. They fail not. But I want you to know, God has given us an opportunity. God has given us a chance. God is speaking to our hearts every day. He's speaking to our spirit. And He's wanting us to draw closer to Him. He's wanting us to receive what He has for us. He has good things in store for His church. Yes. Amen. Even, yes, in the midst of trouble, even in the midst of the storm, yes, because we know this life down here, we know this world is full of it. If you are breathing, if you are alive, I want you to know trouble is on your, is there. Trouble, you can't escape it. But there's one thing you've got to have. You've got to have God on You've got to have His strength. And I am thankful, hallelujah, for all the love. When I think of the love of God, the love of God that He has, just what He has done in my life, I could never thank Him enough. The Scripture says to the praise, the glory of His grace. Wherein He hath made us accepted and the beloved. He's called us in as one of His own. Hey, we were an outcast. We were nothing. We were, we were dead in our sins. But praise God through Jesus Christ. He has called us saying, Hey, come to me, all ye that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Why? Because his yoke is easy and his burden, it's light. Oh, I want him to lift my burden. I want to have his spirit upon my life. I want him to come down and rest upon you. And I have seen, seen how God's spirit has rested upon you. His blessings with everything that Shannon has went through with this coming home, you know. Boy, I want you to know just the simple things you need to thank God for. Amen. Just the simple things of getting out of bed and brushing your teeth. Amen. I want you to know it's a blessing from God. Amen. Amen. Right. <clears throat> At first he couldn't do it. And then finally he was able to, he, I'm, I'm going to stand and brush my teeth. I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> Lord, but God, God is a good God. Yes. But I want you to know just the little things. God is interested in your life. Yes. As it says in the scripture, it says, He that spared not his own son. I want you to think on that just a little bit. I've got a son here. And I know many of you have children. And it says that God, He so loved you that He, not, he spared not His Son so that you could be redeemed and saved. I want you to know that's a love that will never end. Hallelujah. That's a love that you can never find in a bottle. That's a love that you can never find in a person. That's a love that goes beyond your wildest imaginations. That's the kind of love I want to receive. And that's the kind of love that I want to give to you today. Amen. I want to give that to you. I've got a responsibility to you today. I want to give you the Word of God. I am thankful for all that God has done 
the blessings of, of being able. Is it, is it a great responsibility? I want you to know, yes, it is. But I know that God is with me. God has called me to preach the Word of God to you. To give you hope. To give you life. To give you the power of God. To know that He can save you and deliver you from every sin. Every chain that the devil may try to put upon you. All you've got to do is give it to the Lord. I was reading there a couple chapters over. In chapter 10 it says, How then shall they call on Him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in Him of whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Oh, thank God, one day Jesus saw me as a young girl in this church house. I had a father that preached the Word of God, and he preached the Word of God not just behind this pulpit, but he preached it through his life every day. He lived it out at home. He lived it on the street. He lived it wherever he went. Thank God someone told me the truth. Hallelujah. Of everything. The power of the Holy Spirit. When He convicts you. Of your sin. When He draws you. Speaking of dad. I was talking to Jennifer last night. And you know. While she was on the phone. She, she got on John. John had found this video. And they had videoed dad. And this was through his illness. He's sitting there in the chair. And you can tell he can't see. And. He's in a, you know, all that you know, you, most of you know what he went through. Sitting there singing songs. There's springtime in my heart since the Savior made me whole. Hallelujah. There is springtime in my heart since the Savior took control. Going over and over all these songs and I just was so moved. Even in times where we think God isn't there, I want you to know He's right there beside you. I sent out to I sent it on Messenger to Nancy, sent it to, to Janie, his their, their, you know, his sisters, my aunts. And Janie, you know, she came back, she said, Oh, I said, I said, through it all, I said, all that he went through, he still had a song in his heart. He still had a song coming forth from his lips. And she said, Oh, those songs. She said when he first got saved, he would come to the house and he, and he would be downstairs singing those songs. And then she goes, and I would be upstairs full of conviction, crying my eyes out, hearing him sing about the love of God. And thank God one day she heard the call and she didn't turn away, but she received of the love of Jesus Christ that another not only saved my father, but it saved uh, his household. It saved his sisters and his mother, my grandmother, and brought him to Jesus Christ. Uh, and it trickled on down into the bloodline. And I'm believing that he gets a hold of you today. Yes. It's what we need. It's what we need, the power of God and His Spirit because there's only three ways to respond to this Gospel. You either reject it, you accept it, or you neglect it. I want you to know there's a lot of people right off the bat that say, well, that, that's just not for me. And then, then you have those as soon as they hear it. You know, I remember that's one thing Shannon, he would share with certain people in the hospital and he could say, he goes, you could tell those that had a receptive heart and you could tell those that didn't want nothing to do with it. But then you have those that know 
and they hear that they are neglecting the salvation of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that's the scariest place you could ever be in today is when you neglect and you know the way you know that you must receive, but you think that you've got another day. You think that you've got another time. And that God will wait on you till you get things right. I want you to know you'll never come to the decision of Jesus Christ. It's when you give it all to Jesus. And when you give it all to Jesus, He will take control. And He will cleanse you. And He will save you. And He will fill you with the power of His Spirit. And He will deliver you from the bondage of sin. As I was reading there, because see, we all have a decision to make. It says, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah saith, Lord, who hath believed our report? I want to believe the report of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to believe the report of the Lord. The report of the Lord is that He is still in the saving business. The report of the Lord is He is still my God. He is still Jehovah, my God. He is still my healer. He is still my Savior and my Redeemer. And I'm going to put my trust in Him today. I had... Just this morning, someone reached out to me, a messenger, and she sent me her devotion for today, and it talked about when man says no, God is saying yes. And she said, this reminded me of how much you stood and you never gave up on your husband. You kept on holding on. And I was so encouraged by it. That devotion, because when when man says that it's impossible, when your mind says that it's impossible, when all the circumstances around you saying it's impossible, God is saying yes. Uh, God is saying it is possible with me. It might be impossible with man, but I want you to know it's not impossible with God. Oh, amen. God is the one that has held this thing together. In all things, look at the scripture there in chapter 8. He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us, for delivered us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? What's that saying? If He laid down His ultimate gift to you, His very Son, I want you to know He'll give you the small things. And they might look big to you, but I want you to know they are in the hand of Jesus Christ and He has the power to give them to you no matter how great they look to you. God will give you the smaller things the things that you can't handle, the things that look too big to you, I want you to know He will do the impossible. Shannon, the other day, you know, as he, to go to the bathroom or to do anything, you know, I, I go, you know, have to, I, I don't want him to fall. He, he is walking without his walker. Praise the Lord. He, or should I say the walker? I, I encouraged, you know, I realized with us the other day, he, he was... It's getting in his head. <laughs> I, I catch myself claiming these things as Shannon's, and I say, no, it's not your pulse, whatever thing that thing is, meter. I said, it's not yours, it's the. It, it, whatever that he has to use right now, I'm not saying that it's his because it's not going to be his very long. God's power and his spirit is coming down upon him and healing him. Hallelujah. And Matthias said it the other day. Here, you know, and that was when he was using the walker. And he, he goes, the walker. And now he's not even using it. And I thank him for the little things, which really, they're big things. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. 
just the other day, you know, he goes, oh, you know, he had to go to the bathroom, and, and he's like, oh, I'm bothering you again. I'm like, oh, God, I'm so glad you're going to the bathroom. That's right. I remember when he was in there on that dialysis machine praying that he would go to the bathroom. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And now he's not hooked up to no machine, praise God. I want you to know in the God that I serve, he is able to do it for you. Amen. He is able to do it for you. He will lift you up. Why? Because of the gift of God. I want you to know nothing in me. Yes. There is nothing in me. Only thing in me that's good is God. The only good that's in you is God. That's right. Amen. Ephesians 2.8 says, For by grace are you saved through faith. That's not of yourselves. It's the gift of God. What a wonderful gift. What a wonderful God we serve! What a wonderful Lord that we can call on Him no matter the time or the day or the hour. We can put our trust in Him and know that He's right there. Yes. I don't want to reject Him. I don't want to turn away. I don't want to neglect so great a salvation. I want to receive it. I want you to receive it most of all. I was reading there in Acts. King Agrippa. Paul was sharing about Jesus. Sharing the love of God. Trying to get someone's attention isn't it something today it's not an easy thing to get someone's attention that's why i lean on the lord because it's god that needs to get your attention but paul was sharing and it says there that agrippa said unto paul he said almost thou persuadest me to be a christian Oh dear God, can you imagine the man thinking if he never got ever got right, he's in hell today thinking of Paul reaching out to him, trying to get him and persuade him to Jesus Christ. I was just sharing with Kim and Kristen, I can't get through this life without him. I can't get up in the morning without him. I can't lay my head down without him. And I want you to know you think you can. You can't. You can't get through this life without him. You need God. And God is a God that loves you today. Says he spared not his own son. But he gave his son for you today. And not only gave His Son on the cross, but it says hallelujah. This shows you the victory that we have in Christ. It says that Jesus, He's seated at the right hand of the Father. And He makes intercession. Oh, hallelujah. No greater, per no greater person than I want than Jesus. Hallelujah. Praying for me. Praise the Lord. Praying for you. Why? Because He wants you on His side. He's for you. He's not against you. He loves you today. He wants you to receive Him. But you know that there is a cost in serving Him. It's laying down what you want to do. How you want to do things. How I want to do things. No, Lord, let me lay those things down. Let me lay down my sin. Let me lay down those weights easily beset us and let us look to Jesus the author and the finisher of our faith who went all the way to the cross for us that we could be redeemed from our sins. Praise God. Jesus said, I say unto you, ask, 
and it will be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and the door will be open unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be open. Hallelujah. Receive of the Lord today. Receive and know that God has good things in store for you. Hallelujah. Be that one that doesn't reject Him. That doesn't neglect what you have heard today. But you'll be the one to accept it. And live your life for Jesus Christ. And know that if God be for you, nothing can be against you. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 How?